Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim again. For the past 10 years, many cancer genes were discovered and the treatment uh, targeting against those specific cancer genes is called targeted therapy. The targeted therapy provides much higher response and the survival rates when compared with the traditional chemotherapy. On the other hand, we have a immunotherapy which strengthens the patient's immune system to attack and uh, destroy cancer cells. Those customized therapy using uh, target therapy or immunotherapy according to the patient's cancer cells characteristics is a, a personalized medicine. But please remember uh, to cure lung cancer, still the early diagnosis and the surgical resection is the best treatment. We'll discuss more in detail and thank you for watching. For the early stages of non-small cell lung cancer, the best chance of cure is by a surgical resection. If the surgery is not feasible due to underlying medical conditions or patients refuse the surgery, stereotactic body radiation therapy is the preferred treatment. But before surgery, patients need to have a pulmonary evaluation to make sure they can tolerate that surgery. The most important pulmonary function tests include FEV1, and the DLCO, FEV1 is ex forced expiratory volume in one second. The DLCO, diffusing capacity of carbon monoxide. When the tumor is very small or located in the peripheral region, wedge resection or segmentectomy can be done, but normally uh, most patients undergo lobectomy. When the tumor locates close to the main bronchus, uh, luminectomy may have to be done. Traditionally, open thoracotomy was the uh, uh, way of uh, surgery, but lately, video-assisted thoracotomy or robotic thoracotomy are more popular because they have less complications and the patient's hospital stays are shorter. When the surgery is not feasible, stereotactic body radiotherapy is a, a good treatment. You pinpoint the uh, target by using three-dimensional CT scan and then hit those targets, sparing the uh, uh, other normal tissues. To ensure complete removal of uh, mediastinal lymph node by, uh, metastasis, complete mediastinal lymph node dissection used to be done, though, but this is very extensive surgery. Now, systematic mediastinal lymph node sampling replaces this extensive lymph node dissection because there is no difference in terms of survival with this less extensive surgery. After surgery, adjuvant chemotherapy is given for stage 2, stage 3A, and uh, some high-risk stage 1B patients. If the tumor is EGFR uh, uh, drive mutation positive, then adjuvant osimertinib, the brand name Tagreso, for three years improved the uh, uh, overall survival in patients with the stage 1b, 2, and 3a. This is very recent findings. Postoperative radiation therapy did not improve the survival in stage 1 and 2. When the patients have positive surgical margin, then radiation therapy is given. When the patients have a chest wall invasion without lymph node metastasis, end block resection of the uh, uh, chest wall is indicated because it gives the pretty good survival rate. The treatment of stage 3 is a little bit more complicated. For stage 1a, uh, especially T3N1, surgical resection followed by adjuvant chemotherapy is the choice. Some N2 patients may undergo new adjuvant chemotherapy, the chemotherapy given before surgery to shrink the tumor so the patients can have a surgery. But normally, N2 or N3 patients are treated with a definitive concurrent chemoradiation therapy. If the uh, tumor has PDL1 expression over 1%, immunotherapy with the uh, Duravalumib in FINZI for one year improved the overall survival. I will discuss more about this immunotherapy later. Proton therapy is also effective. When the uh, 
N2 is found that the surgery post-operative chemotherapy improves the survival, but not the radiation therapy. For frail or older patients, radiation therapy alone or sequential chemoradiation therapy can be given. For Pankos, superior sulcus tumor without N2, N3 metastasis, concurrent chemoradiation therapy followed by the surgery and followed by two more cycles of uh, chemotherapy is the best choice of treatment. We now use the personalized medicine, which is the customized cancer treatment. We need to understand the driver mutation for uh, personalized medicine. The driver mutation of cancer cell genome drives the cancer cells to proliferate and grow. Other mutations not associated with a cell proliferation is called a passenger mutation. About 20% of non-small cell lung cancer patients have a driver mutations. Targeting the driver mutated gene of an individual patient with a specific inhibitor is the personalized medicine. It provides higher response, survival rates, and less toxicity than traditional chemotherapy. The driver mutations are tested by molecular testing, especially new generation sequencing of DNA and RNA. With a tumor specimen or even with the blood, not the tissue, blood, which is called a liquid biopsy. FDA recently approved Gardant 360 CDX assay which is a new test for genetic profiling of cancer cells. Using the patient's blood, uh, it is a, a liquid biopsy uh, using cell-free tumor DNAs. It gives about 60 to 80% sensitivity in detecting EGFR mutation because some cancer cells do not share DNA to the bloodstreams. So if it's a negative, we need to retest that EGFR mutation with a tumor specimen. It also used the uh, uh, circulating tumor cells to detect 55 different tumor genes. What kind of driver mutations lung cancer cells have? The important uh, driver mutations are EGFR, ALK, and ROSC1. EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor mutations, found in 15% of adenocarcinoma and 60% of Asian patients, frequently non-smoker. Its inhibitors include osimertinib, tagresso, or olotinib, tarsiba, and others. ALK stands for anaplastic lymphoma kinase, rearrangements found in 4% of adenocarcinoma, usually non-smoker and uh, young patients. Its inhibitors include frisotinib, seritinib, lorlatinib, alectinib, and the brigatinib. ROSC1 rearrangements, uh, the inhibitors are cryptozinib, antractinib, and the lorlatinib, and the carbonzantinib. Some of them are uh, work for both ALK and the ROSC1 rearrangements. MET mutation is found in 3% adenocarcinoma and 20% of sarcomatoid carcinoma. Its inhibitors, inhibitor is capmatinib. MET gene amplification is a little bit different from MET mutations. Its clinical significance is that 20% of EGFR mutated tumors having resistant to EGFR inhibitors have this MET gene amplification. To inhibit this gene amplification, amplification we use the capmatinib. BRAP mutation has a two kinds, BRAP a V600 BRAP mutation and a non-V600 BRAP mutation. For V600 BRAP mutation, we use the uh, dramafenib and the uh, dramatinib uh, dual immunotherapy. Non-V600 BRAP mutations is associated with poor prognosis. RET rearrangement is typically classically uh, found in the medullary thyroid cancer, but in some adenocarcinoma patients. Its inhibitors include selpercatinib, pralcetinib. Those are newly uh, approved uh, drugs. NTRK stands for neutro, uh, neurotrophic receptor tyrosine kinase gene fusion. It's rare, but its clinical significance is that when they have this NTRK gene fusion, patients respond to uh, uh, inhibitors very dramatically. Uh, Lacrat tectinib and the antractinib. HER2 is common in the uh, breast cancer, but sometimes found in the adenocarcinoma of the lung. 
and we know the uh, inhibitor uh, Herceptin. KRAS mutation has no prognostic Im impact. The immunotherapy is becoming very important uh, cancer treatments. We need to know immune checkpoints to understand this immunotherapy. Immune checkpoints are regulators of immune system, which is crucial for self tolerance. The checkpoints prevent the immune system from attacking our own cells. Please look at these drawings. Normally, cytotoxic T cells attack both normal cells and the cancer cells by using PD1 or CTLA4. PD1 stands for Programmed Cell Death Receptor 1, and the CTLA4, Cytotoxic T Lymphocyte Associated Protein 4. But thank God, our normal cells have PDL1 ligand, which blocks this PD1 attack, and the B7 to block the uh, CTLA4 uh, attack. Without this PDL1 and the B7 protein, for example, the cancer cells, T cells attack and then uh, release the uh, perforin and the granzymes to kill the cancer cells. But unfortunately, some cancer cells have those PDL1 and the B7 to protect themselves. So by inhibiting those PDL1 or PD1 or CTLA4, you can augment the cytotoxic T cells activity attacking cancer cells. But because they can also attack the normal cells, the side effects are autoimmune pneumonitis, hepatitis, enterocolitis, or dermatitis. The inhibitors of PD1s are pembrolizumab, Keytruda, very popular medicine, nivolumab, Optibo. Inhibitor PDL1 include Duralumab, Infinzi, Atelzolizumab, Tecentric. Inhibitor of TCLA4 protein is Epilimumab, your boy. For the treatment of advanced non small cell lung cancer, we use the uh, target therapy and the immunotherapy and the chemotherapy. About 50% of non small cell lung cancer patients have a biomarker which can be targeted or blocked, like a dry mutation or uh, immune expression. So the first step bef uh, before treatment is to find a driver mutation in cancer cells. It's unlikely that cancer has more than one driver mutation. The targeted therapy against the driver mutation is generally the first choice, as it's effective and less toxic. When a tumor has a no driver mutation, but has a, a PDL1 expression is over 50%, Immunotherapy alone is quite effective, but it can be used with the chemotherapy when the cancer grows fast. Sometimes just the double immunotherapy, nivolumab and the ipilimumab, combined therapy is quite effective. When the PDL1 is a negative or very low, then we still can use the pembrolizumab with a chemotherapy or atelzolizumab with a chemotherapy with or without avastin. Maintenance therapy is generally recommended, usually with the uh, uh, immunotherapy alone or with a uh, single uh, chemotherapy like a permectrexate, but not the uh, platin. Unlike adenocarcinoma, squamous carcinoma usually doesn't have targetable driver mutations, so they are usually treated with the immunotherapy with the chemotherapy. When the chemotherapy is used, we use the carboplatin and the toxanes, not the uh, uh, permectrexate. Permectrexate alimta is effective for adenocarcinoma, but not for squamous cell carcinoma. When the patients have large brain metastasis and is symptomatic, urgent surgical resection is indicated. Otherwise, tumor less than 3 cm up to 4 metastatic lesions, stereotactic radiosurgery is the uh, preferred over uh, whole brain radiation because whole brain radiation can cause memory uh, problems later. Prophylactic cranial radiation doesn't improve survival for patients with a non small cell lung cancer, contrary to the uh, small cell lung cancer patients. There are several types of stereotactic radio uh, surgery uh, equipments gamma knife, 
cybernive and the proton therapy. When the cancer cells have driver mutations like EGFR, ILK, or ROS rearrangements, and the patients are asymptomatic from small size brain metastasis, this target therapy is treatment of choice over surgery or radiation therapy. Because those inhibitors cross the blood brain barrier, achieving very high CNS concentrations. They can give over 70% of response rate and the disease-free survival is over one year. The prognosis of non-small cell lung cancer depends on the stages. In stage 1, 5-year survival is 70 to 90%, stage 2, 50 to 60%, stage 3, 15 to 40%. Stage 4 is very low. Well, the treatment of small cell lung cancer depends on the stage. For a limited stage, concurrent chemo and radiation therapy is used. But if it's truly stage 1 disease, surgical resection is an alternative therapy. Prophylactic brain cranial radiation is recommended as it improves survival. Superior vena cava syndrome is more common in small cell lung cancer and treated with a chemotherapy initially because chemotherapy shrink that tumor very rapidly. The five-year survival of limited stage is 20 to 30 percent. For extensive stage, immunotherapy with the chemotherapy followed by maintenance immunotherapy is used. The immunotherapy drugs for state, uh, extensive stages are atezolizumab or dovalumab, but not the pembrolizumab, not the uh, Keytruda, because Keytruda with the chemo didn't improve the survival when compared with the chemotherapy alone. The median survival of extensive stage is about one year. Very recently, FDA approved lurbinatedin, the uh, generic, I mean, brand name, Zepzelka, for uh, patients with metastatic small cell lung cancer with a disease progression on or after chemotherapy with a platinum. Lurbinatedin is a uh, RNA polymerase 2 inhibitor. Thank you for watching.